shit, yo, man. It's the money motherfucking voodoo. Yeah, man. I'm back. We going viral. You know what I mean? Just want to say thank y'all for... Y'all starting to participate now, man. Y'all clicking the button and shit. You know, that's all we needed, man. So, shouts out to those who clicked the button. You know what I mean? So, in a special celebration, I'm going to do a rare Money Buddha, Money Buddha episode. I'm actually going to do a real show. So, when we come back, I don't know what messages back from our messages. Let's see who it is. There it is. Innocent Wubbly. He gets the game today. So, while we recording him, when we come back, it's going to be the Money Buddha Show. All right, boys and girls, we're back. So, the Money Buddha Show. Let's see. A lot of money been moving on Wall Street. Is this my son, guys? Uh, so the market today took a pullback because see they controlling this bitch see that's the part y'all gotta understand if y'all fucking with this shit if y'all don't know anything about Wall Street you know what I mean you know they're fucking the thing is manipulated, okay? The fact that the Dow, the fact that the Dow, the NASDAQ, the S&P, and the Russell all have identical fucking charts, you're going to tell me that there is not some kind of market manipulation, widespread market manipulation at the highest level? You know, a control where this thing is supposed to be free capital market. Well, come on now. They control this thing. They control when it goes up. They control when it goes down. And in most cases, it's always going down. They trick you into thinking that it's going to go up. And then as soon as you get in, they make it go down and steal all your money. Okay. So, like, this is real. So, you all praise these people. You always give them such a vote of confidence. You know, you always, people are always acting like, oh, yeah, this, that, and the third. Like, this, but in reality, those people who you think are saving you are most likely the ones trying to hurt you. So, you can interpret that any way you want. But I'll say it one more time. Those people who are trying to hurt you or help you, a lot of times are the ones that are trying to hurt you. <laughs> okay? So that may, may it be a, a government agencies, be it be local law enforcement, you know what I mean? Be it be any of these other kind of agencies, you know? Institutions, private or public, you know, not your friend. Okay. Now, with that being said, with that being said,
<laughs> Would that be motherfucking shit? How do you navigate such a tumultuous market? That's why you all have tuned into the Money Buddha Show. With my skills, I can trade anything. like this one here's your stock once again I do it for the people now be careful obviously this could set up for a wicked short or a great bounce your child obviously I don't really go short and I don't recommend going short under any kind of circumstance But it could, there could have been some short action right here. I'm not gonna deny the indications. I'm, I'm a professional. I'm a goddamn professional, okay? So. Okay, then I'll let you do. See if I can zoom in. Let's see what he's saying. You know, he has some inclination. See if the monthly, look, the monthly, come on. The monthly to the moon. I don't even know who these people are. But as you can see, not the, only thing, the only thing is this concerning me, though, is we're peeking out a little. Now, this stock has been running nicely. Though. I don't know who they are. But they're about to go parabolic. <laughs> they at the part. They get about to go parabolic. They going straight up. I wish I wish some of my positions were looking this juicy. So see what I mean. Don't tell me it can't be done. They got some. They got some darlings. There's some darlings in the market. There's some darlings in the market. Now. You just gotta know how to fucking find them. I like that damn chart. <laughs> now people might be like, why'd you go trendline support right now? Well, no, my stupid ass mouse is on drugs. I want trendline support because I wanted to make I want to make sure there's some con some kind of confirmation. At this point we're shooting totally fucking blind. This one we're shooting totally fucking wild. There we go. 
got one right here. Now, this one is more me. This is my kind of stuff. Sure. I've already got my depreciation already baked in. I got me like a multi-month depreciation baked in. So I'm just looking for my turn. Now, speaking of multi-month depreciation. Mulling and automotives. Is it finally is there finally a fucking breakout? Do I see a fucking turn on the chart, bro? Yes, you do. No way. Get ready for a multi year mullinin run, bro. We're going back, bro. We're going back. We're going back home, bro. We're going back, bro. We're going back home. You know how many shares did this man? I got what? Two shares now. So two times a hundred will give me two hundred bucks. Give me two hundred bucks. <laughs> I don't make two hundred bucks on my investment, nigga. Get out of here. Let me stop. I got more than that though, but damn. That reverse split was crazy. No, oh, that nigga ran too. Can't go stuck there, Jesse. All I know is we're going back home. That's 21. That's going to be 32. That's going to be 47. Which is when we're not going to be happy. We're going back to November highs. And 76 might be motherfucking exit. Yeah, we're looking. We're looking at exit. Look at, look at exit. I seventy six bucks. That's a total double on the investment. Total a thousand bang. On a thousand bang, how much of that'll be? Shit. I'm on twenty down on a thousand bang. I think it's going far further than that though, bro. Cause if you see the we look at the monthlies. The, let the monthly talk. See, come on, bro. Look at what the monthly. This thing traded at fucking twenty three million dollars a share. You gotta hold on. You just gotta hold on. Melanin was always, like I said, a long term investment hold play of the highest level, bro. And you just gotta now let the money make it. Make the let the money make it. So you know the money. Let the money work. Now, anybody just getting in, you should have been got in. Now you're going to be spending a premium. That's what people don't understand when they got mad about the whole split in the first place. Now, anybody buying, though, is buying at a premium. When at first you could have been buying this at cents. Now you're buying it at dollars. Now to get to get six, a thousand shares is six grand. You see what I'm saying? It's $6,290. So you guys got to understand that. I think we're going back, bro. We're going back to at least here. We're going back to $15 million a share, nigga. <laughs> Mullen and Automotives is going to be the hugest play of all time, nigga. I'm telling you. I'm fucking telling you guys. You heard it here first, my dude. Let me see my other stocks, fuck it. We're just gonna look up my whole portfolio today, fuck it. Damn, see, that right there was a breakout. When we hit that 60 cents on that channel, bro, that shit was a breakout. But look how the textbook, textbook market maker controls the market right here and just steals the money away, bro. I hate that shit. This is why, this, this shit right here is why I hate Wall Street. Come on, a perfect double, a perfect triple, quadruple bottom. You get a total move through, and then it hits channel line, and then textbook rejection. You know, with high or low. Now we'll have to reaccumulate the reaccumulation phase, consolidation phase. 
And now we're going to be here all motherfucking goddamn day with this damn stock. Again. Instead of letting us get the breakout, go to two, three dollars. Let me fucking shake the spot. <laughs> Which is what they don't want because they know that's exactly what niggas going to do. Which is so lame. Okay, that's what I want to see. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Pause, pause. Sorry about that. Now I had to look at this position because I own this stock. So I think this is huge. We can we? I mean, can we finally break out, bro? I mean, like, come on. Look, they didn't stood the wineries, distilleries. We a fucking weed company. They said. At least our name is in the fucking, is in the game. Oh, Kron. As I say, I'm like, didn't I fucking buy? I owned Kron at one point. I've owned all these damn stocks, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. I've owned, like, every stock in the entire market, damn it. If that was worth buying, bro, and, I, and that's what I'm telling you, bro. I know these niggas are scammers. You should go with this one, though. There's more Tilray, more Reed. Come on now. More Canadian Weed. I like these people too. It looks good. American trusted assets. Oh, right here. See that? This one. Buy this stock. Damn, um, I'm jealous. Buy this stock right now. See not buy it. I'm fucking lucky my phone.
fuck I see now. I think I've owned these people before too. Nah. I've owned all this shit, man. Been dead trying to make some money. I ain't mad at Who are these people? So we got the we got people in this joint. What's it? Eight dollars, eight dollars and eighty-seven cents. Nice trend line support right here. Eight dollars. Looking like a two-dollar move, if not a breakout. Start breaking out, going back out. I like this one. Now, a lot of people be asking, what are you looking for when you're looking at all these? I'm looking for the good ones, huh? Mm, like this one. This is a good one. I like these people. Buy these people. I got a breakout. Finally, a breakout. Breakout and support on the board, on the breakout line. We're looking to move. We're looking to move. But look how expensive. See the ones that they let them break out are these super expensive dog shit stocks that you can't get a good foothold into. You know what I'm saying? All my good, all the good ones that are my babies. All my babies are fucking. They put their dick in my baby. Who is this? Eli Lilly? Yeah. Yeah. Look how much money these stock. But then you look at the, the little ones. Eli Lilly is $700 a share and it can, it's doing its thing. But the little stocks that regular people could get into, the regular ones, the ones that are the, every, the everyday man stock. Not no penny stock, not no derogatory term stock, not no risky stock, not all this other bullshit that they say. They try to scare you off the market stock, you know what I mean? Because they're a bunch of liars and crooks, and they run around in their little shitty little suits, and they trick you and try to, you know what I mean, betray your trust, you know what I mean, with their crooked smile and steal everybody's money, and then play around and act like everything's Gucci bandana when it's a fucking not, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not cool, bro. Like, the average DIA stocks, the regular man stocks, the stocks that a regular person can get into and accumulate a nice, sizable portion that could actually change their fucking, you know what I mean, livelihood in a significant way, going to zero. Nah, they are going to zero. Some big-ass mega stock like Eli Lilly with $700 a share. You all don't know anything about mathematics. You see what I mean, motherfucking seven hundred dollars a share. Do you know how much money it would cost you to buy a thousand shares of a stock at seven dollars a share? Seven hundred, seven hundred and seventy-one dollars to be exact. As opposed to this stock right here, that's nine hundred dollars. That's nine dollars, nine dollars and forty fucking ninety-four cents. And maybe you get lucky and get it on margin. You know what I'm saying? Like you guys aren't fucking understanding the game here, bro. They're really fucking playing dirty. And I hope my mic is on. I'm wasting my time talking. There we go. Thank God. You know what I mean? They're really fucking playing dirty. Let's hope we're recording today. Yeah, we're recording. You know? They're playing real dirty, bro. And it's fucking crazy and petty all in the same time. So I just want to encourage you all to understand that when y'all are coming out here in this market or into this world in general, how the high level of scam that, that, that you're entering into. You know what I mean? 
Because there's no it makes no sense. Eli Lilly seven hundred dollars a share, and it's going up. You see what I'm saying? But Mullen and Automotives is going down, and and Mullen and Automotives has a better prospect. And you say it's not going down. I just looked at the after hours. The after hours, it's like five dollars now. You see what I'm saying? So it's getting abused. You know, so hold on tight. Let's see what we got. Let's lock it in. Let's see if this will work. I'm going to lock this one in. I'm going to kill it on Mullen in at 25 minutes. And then, you know what I mean? This was the Money Buddha Show episode fucking what? One? Let's go.